All right, so a fourth and four for All Saints on the 13. And again, they put they put their back Jones down here. We don't want to roll out. We just want to kick this ball instead of rolling to the right. Hillman gets it off, and a nice punt backing up is Shiloh Sanders. Fields it in his own 45, evades one Saint. Uh -oh. Back into Saints territory, and an ankle tackle. Nice little play by the linebacker, and I mean, that's Charlie Wright, I believe. No, that's Mitch Bothwell. It was Bothwell that made the tackle. Pretty decent coverage and a pretty decent punt, so that's a... That's an okay, okay job considering they were backed up big time. So down in this mud end of the field down here. Boy, and it is. There's a, there's a nice little gully right there at about the 35-yard line on the hash marks near side. So the punt translates into on the Saints 35-yard line, a first and 10 for Trinity Christian. Handoff goes to Quaylen Jones. No, a no, keeper by Sanders. Door. And he slides, and boy, does he slide. And only a gain of about three. Well, we'll see where they mark the slide. Down at the 31-yard line. Yeah, it gave him a little. His dad taught him a little baseball right there. That was a pretty decent hook slide into second base on a steal. Looks like he got almost five there on that. Yeah, second down and six. Ball on the 31. Quaylen Jones, the Baylor commit, senior running back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. A little counter, goes to the left side. Ankle tackle, Jordan Jones, no, Todd Thompson is the one that started the tackle and was ultimately forced out by Will Shipman. And no sizable gain on that, back to the 35 yard line. Yeah, that's gonna leave Pardon me 30. That's yeah, going to leave them in a third and five or six situation. We need a big stop right here, Ken. This 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 needs to be a stop and get the offense back to football right here. Three wide receivers for Shador Sanders at quarterback. Slot right. Jones the running back. Play action. Hit as he throws, but it's low, and it goes to the running back split wide to Marvin Hartfield. He was down even though he kept motoring along down at the six yard line and what a play up the middle by the Tigers. Yeah, they, they run a little play action here. Run a little play action and hit the tight end right up the seam. Pretty good job here with what they're doing offensively and what, what they're trying to get done. There you see just that knee touching briefly and that was enough. And some misdirection and slippage in the backfield on that play that just was busted up. And Cayman Lane was also there to meet Quaylen Jones. Yeah, they try to run that zone read again, whether they're either going to give it or, or he's going to pull it and keep it. And unfortunately, All Saints really, really, really did a nice job of kind of playing that. You got to, yeah. when, when, he, when he wants to pull that out and keep it, you got to make sure you got your lane integrity defensively. Second and goal from the nine. Three wide slot to the left side. That's where Saunders, Sanders wants to go. Shadour Sanders popping. Now goes to the right side. Push off by the defender. Great defense and a flag flies. Who will be called on? I wonder if they're going to call this offense or defense. This could go either way because I'm telling you right now, their receiver was pushing off too, fighting in that back corner. Yeah, Will Shipman, the defender on the play, and it was intended for Brandon Buckhalter. But Buckhalter, you're right. Two-handed shove there as Sanders was eyeing him, going to the left side of the uh, right side of the pocket. They ought to pick this flag up. Both those guys are kind of just fighting in the back of the end zone, and we're get, we're going we're going they're going to talk about it right now. You can tell there's some disparity with what they're talking. Oh, they call it against Saints. Wow. Pi. Well. I will echo what uh, Coach Aaron Beck said earlier this week on the Aaron Beck Coaches Show, which you can go back and listen to this week's edition, Texas24.net. He said, you know what? Officials never fully decide what happens in a game and the outcome because we never should let them get to that point. <laughs> never should be that close. The handoff to Jones, and he is stifled by everybody wearing a once white jersey. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to let it come down to those type of calls because that's a, that's a coin flip call right there. Again, they try to run that little zone read look inside there and really nice job. Is that, that's my boy, 58. 
Yeah, that came in lane right up the middle. So we go inside of three minutes left to go in the third. Hartfield with the carry, and Jamarvin Hartfield lunges forward towards the goal line on a second and goal, and just about a yard and a half short. 24 to 14 as it stands now for the Tigers. They're going to try to hurry up and try to do some kind of quarterback sneak. All Saints better get their guys down in those gaps. Third and goal from the one and a half. And I believe we're getting a dry football that slowed things down. 237 remains in the third. And actually back it up a tad almost to the two yard line. So I don't know if that takes away the sneak or not. But that's certainly what Sanders looks like he's going to do. Instead, hands it off to Hartfield. Fumbled, Ball's loose in the end zone. And fell on it. F fumbled right to the left tackle. What a shame. Wow, good lick by all Saints. They put the football on the ground. Watch the left tackle just fall in on the football right here. Sees the ball on the ground. Boom. And that was a big six foot six, 305 pound sophomore Marquette Seaton. We got a flag on the play. It fell on Ken. it. What are they talking about now? And there was quite a bit of celebration after the fact. As it stands currently, as you see, 30 to 14. And they're going to call in sportsmanlike like conduct. conduct. And sportsmanlike conduct on Trinity Christian. Is that after the score? Is he calling that after the score, Ken? I believe so, yeah. And I think that's what Coach Beck is coming out to get a clarification on. And that would either be enforced correct on the what appears to be a two-point conversion of, uh, attempt or also on the kickoff, right? Yeah, it's, and I'm sure that's what Saints. Coach Beck is asking. Hey, can we take that? They've gone for two every time trying to keep this a two-score game at 16 points. Is that what, you know, is that what we're looking at right here? Well, they're not backed up at this point, so apparently enforced, we assume, on the kickoff. And there comes that three lineman set, and Hartfield rumbles his way in yeah, it's a direct with ease. Snap. Direct snap to Hartfield to the big back. They try to spread them out. So two-yard touchdown run. It was a fumble in the end zone and fallen on by Marquette Seaton. Still ends up with a touchdown plus two points, 32 to 14. The Tigers extend their lead with 224 remaining in the third quarter. Back after this with the Saints on offense on the Texas 24-7 television network.